guys thank you for joining me and welcome back so today in this video I'm going to create another table runner centerpiece and you that you can use for any special event or you can just simply use it at home the mirrors I picked up from the Dollar Tree I had to go to two Dollar Trees just to find enough mirrors to create this project and uh, yeah so some of the items are from the Dollar Tree and some of the items are from Amazon and from my local thrift store so before I continue guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you'll get all my videos and please don't forget to follow me at my new Instagram page, which is Glam Home Decor DIY. So here I'm just showing you a couple of different ways that I've used this table runner. I absolutely love the way this came out. This came out really beautiful and I am using some other items to showcase the table runner. And uh, yeah, some things that I had made from um, a couple of uh, DIYs ago. Oh, they go so well with this. It looks absolutely stunning. And if you create this, you can use anything you want. You can use your own items that you've made, or you can use faux flowers or real flowers. I use candles, silver candles, and some flowers just to showcase the table runner. But I really, really love the way it came out. So very quickly, I'm going to go through all the items. Well, most of the items that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using this seven inch vase and I got that from the Dollar Tree. This small candle, tapered candlestick holder. I picked that up from my thrift store. I'm going to be using one five inch mirror from the Dollar Tree and four, four and a half inch mirrors. And I got all these mirrors from the Dollar Tree and the silver trim was already on the mirror. So I don't have to do much with those. I'm going to be using this pyramid diamond wrap and I got this from Amazon. A couple of strips of this rhinestone diamond wrap. I got that from Amazon as well as these buttons. I will be using those and I'm going to be using some other brooches. Two boards already previously cut and I'll tell you the size in a minute. Contact paper, it's light blue, has some texture on it. I'm going to be using that at the bottom just to finish off the board. I'm going to be using a nail file just to smooth out the edges of the board. I'm going to be using all my glues, my Aileen's Tacky Glue and my Aileen's The Ultimate. And I put some of that tacky glue inside the smaller container because my container has sealed itself up, just dried up. I'll be using my hot glue gun. Both boards are equal in size, 25 and a half inches long by three inches wide. I'm going to smooth out the edges of the board using an old nail file. I'm going to take a little bit of that tacky glue which is already in the smaller container. I'm just going to squeeze it out and then I'm going to just spread the glue along the side of the board and I'm going to place both boards together. Using two boards will allow the table runner to have a lot of strength and structure. Also it will be able to bear the weight of the mirrors. I'm going to use these chip clips just to hold the board down so that it can adhere without sliding around. I'm going to let that set for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to continue decorating the board. So I'm going to be using this pyramid diamond wrap which I picked up from Amazon and guys I will leave the link below for everything that I can find. So right now I'm just going to cut a few strips away because I'm going to use the single row strips just to decorate the edge of the board. The amount that's left guys, I'm going to use that to decorate the top side of the board. So now that the board is a little bit dry, somewhat dry, I'm going to start decorating it. So right now I'm going to use this light blue contact paper. This is going to act as the underside of the board because if you all been following my videos, whenever I create anything that has to do with a support or a foundation, I like to have the underside covered. Even though you don't see it, I still like to have it covered. So 
So right now I'm just going to cut off the a uh, little bit that's hanging over the edge and I'm going to use my knife cutter for that. Next, I'm going to add those single row strips that I just cut away and I'm going to hot glue them to the outer perimeter of our board. Now it's time to glue the decoration to the top side of the board and I'm going to use a little bit of my tacky glue to do that. So I'm going to set that to the side and now I'm going to start decorating the vase.
guys so right now everything is dry so it's been about two hours everything is dry and I'm just going to start placing the mirrors on the board in a decorative fashion and the reason why I'm doing it this way guys is because I didn't realize I bought one of the mirrors a little bit bigger the center mirror measures five inches wide and the smaller mirrors measure four and a half inches wide and I didn't realize that until I got home and so I had to come up with something clever to do with the pattern um, of the mirrors and um, I think this is going to work out really fine so I'm just going to add my stronger adhesive and I'm going to adhere all the mirrors now to our decorative foundation So finally guys while that's continuing to dry I'm going to add the brooches and some of these crystal buttons and then I'm just going to let the whole thing just set and dry overnight. This is the next day and this is what that looks like and it came out absolutely gorgeous I'm trying to give you an aerial shot so that you can see what it looks like it came out absolutely beautiful I love the way this looks it really looks nice and you can use any of your own decoration that you have just to bring it to life the round candles guys I picked up from QVC they're called Luminar and I got those again from QVC so guys please let me know what you think in the comment section below and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. So stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed, guys. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.